Question number one, the Sabbath was only for the Jews. How do you respond to that? Uh, I think I would just say it's, it's for all people who are in faithful covenant with um, the, the Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Amen. I will agree with you by saying in, in Mark chapter two, verse, verses 27 and 28, Jesus says, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. And he also says that the Sabbath was made for man. And the word man here means anthropos, which goes back to the word Adam. It's actually the Sabbath was made for Adam. That's kind of what Jesus is saying. Mm. And Adam is the father of all mankind. So before there was a Jew in the Garden of Eden, uh, I think the first Jew was about 2000 something years later, um, there was a Sabbath in Genesis chapter two. So mm -hmm. this, this idea that the Sabbath was made for the Jews is, is false. So question number two, um, for example, in the book of Acts, the disciples met on Sunday to eat. Does that make Sunday the new holy day? I don't think that alone constitutes a new Sabbath, no. Yeah. I, 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 I think I, it is a holy day. I think the fact that Christ rose on that day makes it a holy day. It, it that makes make it the Lord's day. Yeah, it does make it, but we, we still have no biblical reference to say, yes, it is so. But it is, a. I mean, I guess from the perspective of uh, the resurrection, people can, can yeah. understand that it is a very special and holy day. We, we Adventists will look at it and say, but well, we still have no evidence from the Bible. But we go as far to look at it from the perspective that actually the resurrection on that day has a lot to do with your knowledge of the feast days uh, because like there was a high sabbath on that friday and there's a lot into that and i don't want to get into it but it's well, like it's and like i know Jesus you're trying to go fast but have you ever encountered the theology that refers to sunday as the eighth day oh yeah oh yeah very okay. much so yeah i've heard so it. Yeah. that that's real early on and that has eschatological implications so far as the coming of the lord you know there's yeah. the day of the lord and then there's the lord's day and these two things have been allowed yeah. to overlap in the minds of Christians for some time. And I think a lot of that theology is very rich and good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a good point. Uh, another question, and I just, you, we just laid a foundation. We keep Sunday instead of the Sabbath because of the resurrection. Okay. Agree or disagree? If, if the statement is all Christians have to do it, then I'm okay. not in, in agreement. Yeah, uh, we, will, we will boldly disagree. We, we look at the resurrection of Jesus as a separate event in itself. Mm -hmm. And we will say like, uh, the way you remember the resurrection of Jesus is through baptism and the communion service, because mm -hmm. Jesus says, as often as you eat, you show that you, you know, you believe this is my body and my blood for as long as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. So we say, if you right. want to remember God, you have communion service, but as far as remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, that's the law of God. We separate that. Uh, well, it's like crossing that. yourself. Like there's nothing in the Bible says you have to cross yourself, but it is a way of remembering <laughs> Christ, you know, and yeah. and I don't cast aspersions at people who cross. I actually yeah. think it's a, I think it's a wonderful thing if you design a whole life where everything you do remember reminds you of who Christ is and what he did. But yeah. there are scripturally explicit ways that all Christians are expected to do that. And then there are any number of ways yeah. that you can continue to do that. So that's a yeah. place where I just think we have to have latitude. I agree. That was powerful. Um, last, I want to, this one was going to come from your question, from your sermon. Okay. Oh, Jesus brought the eternal Sabbath. I see that nowhere in the Bible. I think that's silly. I have a hard time taking that seriously. There are other people like D.A. Carson I take very seriously who believe that, but I just think that is in particular a silly belief. And for those of you who have observed Sabbath before, you know what a big difference it makes. You know it's something you should be doing. The scriptures couldn't be more clear, so I need to push you on this. I, I want to thank you for pushing the church. Um, <laughs> and I want to ask a question. If a minister is of the conviction that the seven day is the Sabbath and they go to church on Sunday, are you of the conviction that they should tell their church about this? Well, so any, any pastor who is convicted by the scriptures needs to let him... I mean, it doesn't matter if it's the topic of the Sabbath or anything else. You need to yeah. be clear with your bo the body of Christ about what you believe. If all of a sudden we have pastors moderating what they say they believe so as to be acceptable to the body, that's when you start having wolves in sheep's clothing leading the body. So I think you're morally obligated to say what you believe from the pulpit. And if at any point that just becomes un intolerable to the body, yeah. then that's what allows for that change to be made. Um, so yeah, on the sub subject of the Sabbath, again, I think it's important for me to separate out. I don't think there's wiggle room for whether or not we should rest mm -hmm. on Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. That never changed. 
Yeah. I think that's how clearly all covenant people are supposed to behave. But whether or not it's a sin to assemble and worship as the covenant community on Sunday, I don't have that same clarity there. So I don't see it's morally incumbent for all Bible-believing Christians to preach that particular doctrine from the pulpit. I agree. I, 100%. I have not no pushback against that. Awesome. Uh, as a side note, um, I, I agree with you 100% on another point that you made in your video. The chosen <laughs> is not a good representation right. yeah. of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to I just want to throw that out there because yep. I, I've listened to just a, I watched a few clips. I've actually sat down and watched an entire video. Mm -hmm. What I begin to realize, I'm like, there's a lot of adding. Yeah, and there's a lot of misrepresentation here. Yes, of yeah. the word. <laughs> it's a problem. It's, it's a real problem. Great production. Great production. Oh, you do video yeah. and you understand the kind of work that it takes to sit there and get, you know, get your cameras and your lighting right. And you, you know these guys are really working hard. Yeah. But when I open the Bible and I'm like, I, I can't sit. Dude. I don't even I don't even put this in front of my kids' eyes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even share it with my wife. Yeah, once know. once that like right. seed gets planted, like once you get that mental image, it's so hard yeah. to undo yeah. any accumulation. So just let people read the word. Mm -hmm. Let them get their impression. I mean, we already have so many assumptions we bring into it. Are we yeah. really going to add more assumptions on to people? Yeah. You know, it just seems very poorly. Uh, yeah. You have bad discernment if you think that's a good <laughs> way to instruct bad. your kids on who Jesus I is. I agree. And I, I think all images of Jesus, we need to keep them away. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you cannot have a picture and a painting of Christ. Mm -hmm. What I think is best to stay away from them. We have one in our church and we've tried to take him down for so many times. But the issue was the person who painted it. He did it and passed away. Mm. And he's been there almost like a a memory. Like if we take this down, we 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 we're showing that we don't love what he has been one of those things. So I stopped fighting about it. Sure. I just like, you know what, it is what it is, leave him alone. Yeah. The picture right. is actually a very beautiful picture anyway. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, any pictures of Jesus in your church or any representation of Jesus of that way is very it's kind of problematic i don't mm. want to make it about a skin color issue nobody cares we don't know oh, sure yeah. what color jesus was whether he well, was he's middle black. eastern -er. i'm willing middle to say eastern. he's middle eastern yeah. he probably yeah. didn't look like me did, i'm okay yeah, he with this didn't look like me either yeah. <laughs> he had to be somewhere in between but i don't think it matters what matters is the word and oftentimes what I, what I found some of these issues in the church i'm like i don't think we need to fight about something like this but to each yeah, his own let's fight about the worthy things there are worthy <laughs> things worth fighting about let's fight yes. about those well yeah. for any of your audience that do decide to come over to plain spoke and i hope that's what you see because i do yeah. fight but i don't want to do name calling i don't want to be nasty i just okay. want to name the issues for what they are i think i think we need more of that i get the sense that you're all about that too so i, I appreciate that yeah we do um i'm actually gonna put a direct link to your channel oh thanks man yep, i found it you have six thousand subscribers great yeah i'm small fry compared to you man. three videos you are working you are working okay i, I know i know you are working because i do videos and i know what it takes to do this um, i just do a morning briefing at this point and then i clip the briefing up according to segments and then um, i'll interview people and that's really all i'm doing right now i do a live stream on fridays at four central time where i just take questions great. from the audience great great and so uh i'm i'm not very and yeah, you can tell you, I just kind of whip things out and push push them out. I don't have the nice production quality you do. Oh no, I'm my, 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 I mean I've looked at your stuff, uh, boy, it's good. See, I don't even put anything into my thumbnails. I just use it, the same it, thumbnail and put different words on there. Easy it, peasy. Yeah, but is the message is getting across? That's for sure. Yeah, so, I hope uh, I'm making a difference. So I put a I put a link. I'm gonna put a link in my in my in my comments so that you guys yeah. can go check out. Yep, there it is right there. So I linked Perfect. it so Thank people you. can go look at that and also support your work. You also have a sub stack. That one, that guy at the bottom right, that interview I had on yeah. prayer is an awesome, I mean, it's really good devotional prayer okay. material. And it's one of my shorter interviews. So if you guys want to check that out, I think that would be a benefit to everybody. Okay, I'm going to link it. Because um, some people that are watching right now, they're watching on their TV. Oh, sure. So yeah. Let's do throw a link in the screen so that they can actually click and watch. Okay. So I send that over. That is good. I'm going to check this out when we're done here. Um, this is awesome. And you also yeah. check out your sub stacks and stuff like that. Yep. All right. Yep. <clears throat>